We break through and we break them. So everybody always asks me, ET, what was it like being homeless? I don't remember. What was it like eating out of trash cans? I don't remember. I ain't on that. Let me tell y'all the hardest part of my life. The hardest part of my life was not being homeless. I ain't had no dreams or no goals. I didn't want nothing. Eating out of trash cans wasn't the hardest thing I've ever done. The hardest thing I ever did was get my GED, go to college, study every doggone day and still fail. That's hard. That's hard. When you writing a paper for three, four weeks, you turn it in and you get, still get a 2.0. That's hard. It's hard when you're in a library and you study it and you read and you take the test and you get a 55. That's hard. So what I want you to understand about the breakthrough is that 90% is work, but the last 10%, that's fight. Listen to me, you don't get a breakthrough by working. You get a breakthrough when you fight. And I had to fight. I had to stay up all night. Listen to me very closely. When I first started speaking, I remember they used to be like, bro, we give you $1,500 at most. I remember trying to break through in this industry. I remember speaking and speaking and speaking. Getting a four-year degree. It took me 12 years to get a four-year degree. Breakthrough. It wasn't being homeless. It wasn't running the streets. It wasn't hanging out with people I shouldn't hang out with. The hardest part of my life was actually trying, putting forth effort and still not getting my goal. That was the hardest part. The hardest part was going to doggone school. Going, I dropped out of doggone Detroit here before. I didn't go to school, so when I got kicked out, I wasn't tripping. But you mean to tell me I'm going to every class and I'm still failing? You mean to tell me I'm reading every paper, I'm still failing? That's the hard part. The breakthrough is the hardest part because the breakthrough is not about the X's and O's. The breakthrough is not about the weight room. The breakthrough is not about studying the plays. The breakthrough, that last 10% is all mental toughness. The last 10%, the breakthrough is not about being better than them. You're already better than them. You're just not better than them mentally. So they gotta do with nothing physical. When you get to the top of the top of your game, it ain't physical, y'all. It is not the darkest moment that's the problem. You the problem, and your perspective is the problem. You thought you was just gonna have a dream and a goal, and you were just gonna wake up and just walk into the sunset. You're like, dream, boom. It don't work like that. You have a dream, and then life, life punks you. Life punks you and say, do you really want this? I'm gonna give your wife MS, do you really want this? Five of your aunts gonna die of cancer, do you really want this? You're gonna lose friends, do you really want this? Your mama gonna be pissed when you write the book about your family, do you really want this? Do you really want this? Cousins gonna abandon you. People that you used to be like this with gonna think you bougie and don't wanna deal with you. That's, it's a part of it, but I paid too much. If I was gonna quit, I would've quit in the abandoned building when I wanted to commit suicide and take my life. And I don't talk about that because I don't want to get nobody ideas. I should've quit when, when I heard my voice say, your mama don't want you, your own daddy don't want you, take your life. I got through that. So why I'm gonna quit over a grade, of a F on a grade? Why would I quit because I didn't do well on the master's degree, come on. And so I'm telling y'all, you have come too far to quit now. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Get a, get a reward for your pain. Don't cry about it. Don't whine about it. Get a reward for it. I study my competition. Oh, my man, fire. My man, fire. My man, oh, fire. My man, oh, his use of word. Oh, my man, his presence. Oh, this is phenomenal. But when I studied all of them, it take three weeks to a month to get their stuff. I said, bingo, I got them. I got them. I'm going to go on YouTube and give my stuff away. Because guess what? If you're going through a divorce, you ain't got three weeks to wait on no doggone video. If your mama got cancer or you got cancer, you ain't got three weeks to a month to wait for your video. So I'm saying they, they better than me, but they will not outwork me. I will get up every day and put some on. Three o'clock in the doggone morning. I'm doing it every day and three o'clock in the morning. I'm telling y'all, 
the breakthrough. I'm going to break these boys. Why? Because where they come from, they couldn't get up at 3 o'clock in the morning if they wanted to. They smarter than me. They come from privilege. They got the language. They got the code. They got the rules. They grew up in it. But they will not get up earlier than me. They will not put out more content than me. Be smoke. I was homeless. I was knocked out. I was kicked out of school. I was told never to return. I did this in the midst of trials, in the midst of tribulations. Nobody gave me this. I earned it. Life wasn't a crystal stair for me. Didn't nobody give me a network. I, I earned a network. I know Warren Buffett because I worked my way to Warren Buffett. I worked my way to Dan Gilbert. I worked my way to the NBA. I worked my way to the NFL. Everybody say, E, how did you crack the code? I grinded my way through the code. That's how I cracked it. I got up every day at three. At Monday I grind, Tuesday I grind. When I don't care what the economy is doing. I don't care who the president is. I don't care who the governor is. I don't care who the mayor is. My mama ain't counting on the governor. My wife ain't counting on the president of the United States of America. My wife ain't counting on the mayor. My wife ain't counting on the commissioner. My wife counting on me. When I walk out that house, she's counting on me to bring home the bacon. I beast mode my way to number one. I beast mode my way to number one. Then I put the sweet stuff out and I saw people start feeling it. Then I start dropping hip hop on them. I'm like, I got them now. They don't even know, they don't even know who Kendrick Lamar is. Got them. They don't even know who Pac is. Got them. They don't even know how to put Biggie in there. Got them. I didn't get them. I didn't get them with talent. I didn't beat them with talent. I looked at their weaknesses and I said, boom, they will not outwork me. I'll go quicker, I'll go harder, I'll go longer, I'll go faster. A game, all I got is an A game. I ain't got a B game, I ain't got a C game. When I finish, people are relying on me. Some of y'all, when you get on the field, you forgot. You forgot what it was like when you was hustling in high school playing ball. When you were in college, hustling to get to this point. I ain't smart. It took me 12 years to get a four-year degree. My book is a bestseller, and I, ain't I, I, I failed English three times in college. But the difference between me and most people is, you might be sweeter than me. You might be bigger than me. You might grind. Listen to me, I don't know. You might have money. I don't know where you come from, but you will not outwork me. Every single time. So what I need y'all to do, man, imano, imano, man to man, I need y'all to, first week y'all come out, I need y'all to come out so doggone strong that, that when teams come on the field, come on. Don't just say it, lock the gate, don't just say it. Don't just say it, sound cute, you wearing a t-shirt. Don't just say it, lock that joke for real. Get to the point this season that when they come out on the field, they like, we don't even want to this. I want them to be scared. Can we make that happen? I'm talking about beast mode. I want you to come out, no laughing, no playing. I want y'all to do something like y'all ain't never done before. I want y'all to go out on the field and have y'all whatever y'all come up with. Y'all little chat, whatever y'all do. I want y'all to just come out and just all y'all stand and look at the other side. Like, I just want you to strike fear in their doggone heart. People rock with me because I know what you've been through and I didn't quit. I know what you've been through and I didn't stop. I know what you've been through and I didn't whine. You know what I did? I got my reward for it. And not only did I get a reward for it, my wife got a reward for it. My kids got a reward for it. They're gonna live a different life because of what I went through. And had I quit, I would have been just like my father who left me with nothing. I would have been just like my grandfather who quit. So I've been in circles and in families and environments where people take L's. I don't take L's no more. No more L's in my life. I, all we do is win, win, win.